We begin tonight with the list of women who have now come forward accusing Donald Trump of inappropriate conduct. The detailed claims right here. And they come after that video, Donald Trump on that bus describing what he's able to do to women, kissing them, grabbing them because of his fame. It was during Sunday's debate he was pressed, asked if those were just words or if he had actually done that to women. When pressed, he said he never did it. Tonight, some believe it was that moment in the debate that drove some of these women to come forward. But tonight, Donald Trump blames the media, the Clinton campaign, saying they're driving this. ABC's David Wright leads us off. Tonight, a growing list of women are accusing Donald Trump of inappropriate conduct, including sexual assault. They insist his boasts on the bus to Billy Bush were much more than just locker room talk. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the I can do anything. Asked point blank about those record, statements. Though, are you saying that what you said on that bus 11 years ago, that you did not actually kiss women without consent or grope women without consent? I have great respect for women. Nobody has more respect for women than I do. Men, have you ever done those women things? women have respect for me. And I will tell you, no, I have not. An and unequivocal no. But even some Trump supporters feared that denial would open the floodgates for women to come forward. He was like an octopus. It was like he had six arms. He was all over the place. Today, the New York Times published the stories of two women. One of them, Jessica Leeds, says Trump assaulted her more than 30 years ago on an airplane after she was upgraded to first class on a business trip. I sat down next to a young man, blonde, tall, and he introduced himself. As Donald Trump. And in the middle of the flight. Not, somehow or another, the armrest in, in the seat disappeared. And it was a real shock when all of a sudden his hands were all over me. If he had stuck with the upper part of the body, I, I might not have gotten. I might not have gotten that upset. But it's when he started putting his hand up my skirt. And that was it. That was it. I, I was out of there. Leeds is now a supporter of Hillary Clinton. These claims are all fabricated. They're pure fiction and they're outright lies. These events never, ever happened. Today, Trump threatened to sue the Times for libel, demanding the paper retract the story and publish an apology. The Times declined in a letter to Trump's lawyers insisting the women spoke out on an issue of national importance. It would have been a disservice, not just to our readers, but to democracy itself to silence their voices. And there were other voices, too, today. Among them, Natasha Stoinoff, a reporter for People magazine who traveled to Trump's Mar-a-Lago resort in 2006 to profile the billionaire and his wife, Melania, who was pregnant. Stoinoff says while Melania was out of the room, Trump shut the door behind us. Within seconds, he was pushing me against the wall and forcing his tongue down my throat. I was grateful when Trump's longtime butler burst into the room a minute later as I tried to unpin myself. She says that as they waited for Melania to return, Trump leaned in and told her, you know we're going to have an affair, don't you? Today, Trump denies that ever happened, asking why Stoinoff would have left such explosive details out of her People magazine story. And then he seemed to attack her appearance. Take a look. You take a look. Look at her. Look at her words. You tell me what you think. I don't think so. I don't think so. David Wright joins us live from Trump Tower tonight. And David, I want to clarify for our viewers tonight, none of these women filed any kind of criminal complaints against Donald Trump? They did not, David. And they say to a person that they felt powerless to challenge him on this. The People magazine reporter, though, says she did tell her editor and asked never again to be assigned to the Trump beat. David?